Hello and welcome to the first of a series of video tutorials on Windows 7. Today we're going to be talking about how to move the taskbar, how to change the size of the taskbar in order to get the most out of your desktop real estate. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click on the taskbar itself and we're going to uncheck lock the taskbar. If this is already unchecked then remember you don't need to do this step. The next thing we'll do is we will click on the taskbar itself with the left click and we, as we are holding it we will drag it to the left hand side and automatically it clicks into place. As you can see it moves the icons accordingly so you don't have to worry about that. Now let's say I wanted it at the top so again we just left click hold on the taskbar itself move to the top and again we can actually move it to the right hand side and we'll just move it back to the bottom again to make it simpler. Once we're finished, we'll just right click again and go to lock the taskbar. And now, as much as you want, you can try and try and try, but you won't be able to move the taskbar, so it's locked. The next thing we can do is make the taskbar shorter. So for any of you who are used to the old version of Windows, um, who prefer slightly smaller or thinner taskbars or sleeker taskbars, might like the minimalistic look, you can perhaps try this. So if you right click on the taskbar itself, click on properties and click use small icons. Now we could also have unlocked the taskbar before by doing this. This is obviously the long winded version, but in order to change the size of the taskbar, you'll need to click on that. So use the small icons, click OK. As you can see, the taskbar has rearranged its size to a smaller fit. Now this gives a few advantages. First of all, it gives you kind of more of a real estate to use on your desktop. So if I open up Internet Explorer now, as you can see, you'll get slightly more area to, to, to view your actual page. Very, very tiny change, but obviously that's depending on whether you're using a quite a small resolution. Um, also, if you want to move it as it is, you can actually right click, uncheck, and you can still move it around. So if you wanted to, you can still have a slimline bar at the top, to the left, to the right. Generally, the ones on the left hand and the right hand side, as you notice, are actually the same as the slightly thicker version of the taskbar. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for viewing this tutorial. And remember to check out our company blog page at ectatech.co.uk forward slash blog for more information on any products that we sell or even more tutorials. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button as we'll have plenty more tutorials on easy and more advanced features of Windows 7. Thank you. Until next time, goodbye.